what's up we got some new stuff in today let's run through it real quick um this is this is really exciting so i i've been going through all of the men's blazers now for uh i i used to like just really skim through them but i was like you know what i'm going to take the time and really look through them uh doing some research ahead of time and today i feel like it finally paid off because i just i've been it's been really hit or miss with me with the the blazers um mostly miss but today was good we got a bunch of blazers these are all bonobos brand uh blazers you can see this one still has a little tag on the on the sleeve so it might be unworn i don't think people really leave those on uh there's three bonobos they're all very similar i don't, I don't think i'm going to show you all of them they're all basically the same you know one's blue one's gray you get the idea uh very nice condition and then this one is a j crew uh ludlow blazer i have sold one of these before i sold a really nice one of these a linen one over the winter uh this is a wool one i wish they were uh reversed and i had the linen one now and the wool one back then but whatever these uh the j crew ludlow sells for pretty good money so let's see if i can find the here Ludlow wool blazer nice and then we got a pair of these jeans I've sold these before honestly I didn't really check the sell through so they might not be good anymore but they're called origin this is a made in USA uh, brand I think they make uh, I the last time I checked I think they make like uh, jujitsu stuff but they also have like your everyday stuff like jeans and everything sometimes they're selvage let me look nope not this one i might be wrong about that uh and then we got one of these this is ll bean chamois shirt i feel like you really can't go wrong with these um the chamois shirts are like a heavy kind of flannel material um a lot of brands have it have uh chamois shirts like land's end and uh Cabela's and stuff like that. Uh, this is LL Bean is probably the one that you want to get. Um, even though it's like warm enough, we're still going to pick those up. Uh, I got two of these. These are a men's 4XL or 4XB. The one, well, the one's 4XB and the other one I think is a 4XLT. That might be the one I'm holding right now. I have had my eye on these for weeks. They don't sell. Uh, today was discount day. These are just the big size polos. They're nothing special. It's just a larger size, big and tall size. Um, I have another one of them, but I, it's not in my pile right now. Then I got a pair of these like tracksuit jogger type pants from Todd Snyder. Uh, this is only the second Todd Snyder thing that I found. I found a Todd Snyder champion uh, crew neck a few months ago and it sold great. Um, the Todd Snyder stuff is pretty nice. Uh, Google it. You don't believe me? Google it. Then we have... Oh, here's that other one. So, yeah. This is 4XB. That's that's what we're looking at here. So, it's the B is big. As in big and tall. Right? I don't know. Like, look it up. Look it up. I don't know. I kept looking at them. I was like, I should really just pick these up. Uh, and then we got these. These were on sale today. They were only like two bucks. This is mountain, uh, mountain khakis, just cargo shorts. Um, I'm just I'm hoping that uh, these will sell pretty good over the next couple months. Um, yeah, not so much to say about those. Then we got these. I was pretty excited about these. I didn't really look them up. Uh, I was kind of pressed for time. But these are um, uh, Ralph Lauren. Where the hell is the tag? Polo Ralph Lauren uh, like dress pants, but as you can see, they have the elastic and the drawstring here. So that's kind of cool. So that's pretty much the only reason why I grabbed them uh, was because they were more of like a comfort waist, I guess you could say. And they almost feel like a little bit like sweatpants material. You can see the, the ankle is kind of almost like a banded cuff, like kind of on, on like a pair of joggers or something. Uh, I don't know pretty cool and then we got this is uh, work right 
uh, flame resistant pants. It's another one that I've been like I look at all the time. They were in really nice condition. You can see how like they still got the uh, nice creases on them. Nice condition. These were fifty percent off today, so I think they were four fifty. You know, if I can sell them for twenty bucks, I'm happy. And then uh, against my better judgment, I picked up an Adidas Polo, but uh, this one was fifty percent off. Um, I think it was four dollars, but just like the print was pretty crazy. I'm just like I'm hoping that like you know with golf season, springtime, and it's just a crazy print. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that that will kind of push this one over the edge for me. Then, while we got the golf stuff out, we got a G4 uh, quarter zip. This thing's pretty crazy. It's like this, like, kind of, like, subtle camo, I guess you could say. It's like kind of a lighter camo, more stylish camo. Where's the tag? Where am I at here? G4. Nice. Nice material. This is, like, nice quality material this feels like some kind of lululemon stuff and then the last thing i got you know it this is probably the only winter related thing that i will pick up throughout the year is the ugly christmas sweaters because they sell like crazy um that was one thing last year i made a point to like i'm going to pick up all of the reasonably priced ugly christmas sweaters I'll just pack them away um because i last year i listed all of them as i got them and i felt like all the ones that i listed when it came time uh for people to start buying those like they were not selling very well and it was the ones that i was listing currently um that were selling and all of the ones that i had kind of front loaded into the store were uh getting lost in the sauce there because as you can imagine there are just tens and probably hundreds of thousands of these things listed on ebay but you would be surprised how quickly they fly off the shelves. Uh, this this one is uh, this is a new with tags one. Like I said, these these are cheap to begin with. Like this is twenty two dollars at Walmart. It lights up. We're still going to list it as pre owned. I think you have a better chance of selling these when you list them as pre owned because they are so heavily mass produced. That's why I can't stress enough. If you list like an ugly Christmas sweater as new with tags. It will get lost with all of the stock photo pictures and it will never sell. You need to just list, like, it, it seems dumb. Just list them as pre-owned. Put a good price on it, like, you know, and, and it'll sell. I don't think I have anything else to show. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, yeah, I have this. Uh, I didn't get this today. I got this a couple days ago. Ralph Lauren linen shirt. Uh, same idea. Springtime coming up. I want to have something like this in the store. This was 10 bucks. I wasn't happy about paying that. I actually saw this uh, early, <coughs> earlier in the week. And uh, I left it because I was like, I'm not paying that $10. But I had to suck it up and just get it because I, I know it'll sell eventually. Uh, then we got a hook fishing shirt. Just got the logos all around. It's your performance material. You know, this is something like, you know, 20 bucks if you're lucky. More like 15 you know. This is cool, literally, the brand cool. Just a t-shirt from them, cool. And then on the back, it has this clever little thing on the back, cool tee. Um, and then that's it, and I just have these jeans out. I was trying to take better pics of these jeans. They're green. These are so hard to get a good picture of. I've tried on my floor, which is like a you know wood finish and I've tried on my gray carpet. It is so hard to get a good pick of these, but these are dirt cheap on my page. I think they're $20 with a 20% off coupon. Uh, Ralph Lauren Denim Supply jeans. They're nice. They're nice. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.